I'll just carry on a wee bit more. Um, oh, it's a nice sound in the background there. Oh, bagpipes. Hey. Some good stuff that. Hey, you are. Well, Scottish stuff, but uh, it's a wee bit uh, different to that coming on in a minute, is it? What, what, what we're watching? Uh, what's white stripes. White stripes. Kind of in the white stripes, just cool. absolute genius. Yeah, yeah, the boy's brilliant, is he? He's just, him and Ryan Adams, just That's right. two of the top guys. Good stuff, it? is just it? Just incredible. Mm. Fortunately, we had to put off Led Zeppelin, but nah. we can get back to it. This is just too good. Far too good. You can't see it, but you can hear it. My, uh, Cigars burning a little bit here on school whiff kind of bit, but uh, I'm not going to correct it. I'm just going to see where it goes. Probably too much blethering in between, you know what I like. And uh, they concentrating on the cigar. I'm sure it's going to burn its way through it itself. It's going to get a nice little kind of spice to it. Mm -hmm. As nice as it gets, kind of further down the cigar you go, it starts to heat up a bit. Yeah, I agree. It starts to get a bit tingly and mm -hmm. it's nice, it just kind of... That's what you want, you kind of want something to happen, you know, a bit of complexity yeah. in a cigar, you want that to just change a wee, wee yeah. bit. You want the journey. You want the journey of a cigar. Yeah, exactly, that's the words. Hey, you can see the editorial, not the editorial, <laughs> what would you say? Editorial yeah. or whatever that's in him. I'll take that. Because that's what he kind of does, that's his job. Um, so, not quite an editor, but getting there. He will be one day, he will be one day. Maybe. But he's better with words than I am. I'm a fewer words, but uh, no, really, really nice wee cigar. Good fun cigar. Yeah, it's a nice little, it's a nice little one to start off with as well, isn't it? Yeah. The less kind of, I'm not sure what the word is after you said on Google Words. <laughs> it's Google Words, but you just forgot yeah. them all. God well, knows. Who knows? A blank mind of words. <laughs> but for the less, I suppose, I was going to say sophisticated palate, but that's not true at all. For the person who you know, isn't quite so used to smoking cigars, it's a nice one just to mm. introduce them to or just to oh, well, them without that's interesting. putting them off. Yeah, that's interesting really that you are saying that because um, a lot of times on the UK Cigar Forum site, which I'm a member of, Serious Steve on there, we plug for that, Certainly. More, more plugs are better. Exactly. Um, the, one of the most common questions asked on there when new guys come on and join the forum uh, is usually because they've just started smoking and uh, and they're always desperate to know maybe recommended cigars, you know, cigars that are... Cause you don't want to just go straight in with a really, really strong, yeah, heavy, part of grass, uh, Ramon Alone Special Selected, things like that, that are really, really, you know, full body yeah. bolivars and stuff like that, sometimes too much for them, you know. So, I mean, if you're looking at uh, Por La Renaga, Petite Coronas, Churchill, Hoyos, stuff like that. Just light, light cigars. H. Hey, Chapman, some of those uh, light cigars. Uh, and, and this, in my mind, it, it fits in there. Uh, it's it's a wee bit, maybe a wee bit beefier up, up the other. Uh, the ah, there are some that ah, it could just be very bland, very, almost, yeah. and, and, and very, very mild. But it's, it, on, your, on your journey of smoking cigars, I would recommend that uh, I think. Uh, Quite a novice cigar smoker would be happy to smoke this. Uh, always recommended uh, after you've had something to eat. But I mean, I don't necessarily need to have something to eat, to be perfectly honest with you. But uh, it is always better to have something in your belly. We did have something. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a nice something. Quite a nice something. Mm -hmm. Macaroni and cheese. Yeah. I had. Macaroni and cheese. Double, a double sausage roll. A first. double sausage yeah. roll. Ooh. Cooked by our own <laughs> fair mother. Well, cooked by Steve's Nima. mother, Nima, <laughs> my wife, of course. Well, it doesn't have to be, but not mine. Now we're just yeah. blathering it on. Yeah, well, <laughs> why not? That's where it goes, is it? That's the way it goes. Now we'll just uh, take in some of this white stripes and uh, come back to you again later on. See you soon. Steve's just nipped off for a quick telephone conversation. We'll just have a wee moment to myself and just enjoy the cigar for what it is. Fine, fine, fine. Definitely got a little bit of that uh, nutmeg thing going on. Stephen said that spiciness. Good. Mm -hmm. 
very smooth, very, very nice. Jack White's maybe a little bit loud in the background, so I'll just go and quieten him down and carry on, and we'll be back very soon. Well, we're just coming to, uh, well, Steve's coming well out to the end of his, but again, I've been doing too much blethering and stuff, and uh, uploading other videos to for you lucky people, keep you guys all, there's a few in the can as it were, so I'm just getting, now I've gotten used to uploading, which takes for ages, it's about over an hour to, an hour and a half sometimes to upload them, you know, it's quite a length of time really, but um, you're limited obviously to, um, you're limited to maximum 15 minutes, so uh, the one I'm uploading just now is the original one we started with, the Flor de Cano, so look out for that soon. Um, There's a couple of good ones in there as well that you'll definitely enjoy. A few boozy evenings, maybe, to few, come. A few boozy ones. Did one in a Husky as well, so I'll maybe try and upla upload that as well. But as I say, it all takes time, you know, it's just down there. you just got to sit and wait for it to happen. But... Well, well, there you go. So what, what did you think of the cigar then, Steve? That was nice, yeah. <laughs> Like you were saying, it's quite like an easy cigar, it's quite smooth, it's quite caramelly and all the usual kind of nice kind of soft mm -hmm. flavours, nothing too too harsh about it. And like we said, as you kind of get further down the cigar, it starts to get a bit spicier, it starts to coat your mouth a bit more. It's really nice, it stays with you. While we were taking a break there, I was pottering about and you could still just taste these really nice flavours kind of evolving and changing. And Still just stick with that. It went from really smooth and nice and caramelly just to this nice spice. I'm just being left with this nice kind of little spice. I don't know if that's mm -hmm. regular if you're getting that, but no, it's really fine. Good. Yeah, certainly one of my favourites. I just put it through my nose and it's uh, <laughs> fairly spicy through the nose, that's for sure, right? Like. Um, <laughs> that's something I recommend anyone and everyone to do, but a lot of people do it just to pick up. But as in, let's smoke it through your nose. Let's like. smoke it through yeah. your nose. Okay. And it picks up then the spiciness and more of it as well. So that's the bloodshot eyes, is it? Hence the bloodshot eyes. eyes. No, maybe that is with the booze as well. <laughs> had a very hectic, uh, hence the unshaven look today as well. It's a very hectic evening, last evening, but uh, it's fine. What was going down a few last drinks time? at the country club. Some nice, uh, it was Ardmore whiskey that was going down last night. Oh, nice. Very nice. Peaty, very, very heavily peated yeah, up. Yeah, that kind of... Mm. I get full on sometimes, but on a Friday night I mind. Yes. Yeah. I took a few of these down to uh, the rocks just through a lot of you might know it through Foot D in Aberdeen. It's right on the edge of the, the coast of the beach. It's nice. just like a nice bay of rocks and me and my mate Mo, hope there's no coppers watching. <laughs> Chilled out. Chilled out on the rocks and just watched the boats coming in and out of the harbour, really cool. Nice, it's a nice fine evening, evening was it? It'd be nice to actually have a, a, calm night. Ah, have yeah. a cheeky cigar. A wee cheroot there as Again, well. Again, I don't know to the cigar connoisseurs, we did go back to my mate Mo's flat and get stuck in a couple of hamlets leaning out his kitchen window. <laughs> I don't know how. Oh, hamlets. <laughs> yeah. Well, sorry. Each to their own. Again. I thought I was Clint Eastwood again with the skinny, I was biting up too much. <laughs> it's more just for show than anything. Good. What's all about? It's me and my grand actually. He still was. Yeah. Smart. Is it the King Edward's he's smoking? Mm -hmm. You used to always find these little thin stubbies in the garden, and you'd know he'd been here if you find Edwards. a couple of stubby King Edwards floating about. So is that what they're doing as far as you think? Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My, my dad was a... Uh, he smoked a lot of uh, cigars. Um, King Edwards being the prominent one, because obviously up here in Aberdeen, uh, heavy offshore from here, and the, the guys that went offshore, the, the Bond used to sell cigarettes and cigars and things like that and the, and the cigar that you could pick up out there, were two really main ones, was Old Port and the uh, King Edwards um, and he used to get packs of 25 from a guy yeah. that used to come back yeah, and nice. used to get into them, nice sweet creamy little uh, cigars, long time since I've had one, I have to just dig one out for old time's yeah. sake and just I'll raise a have, glass. A, have a wee, uh, raise a glass and also have a wee review in old King Eddie, why not? Um, don't smoke many uh, sort of New World or whatever you want to call them, cigars, uh, NCs, non-Cuban cigars, don't really smoke many of them, but that's where I started. 
uh, with the King 80s, the old ports. Um, so what would you recommend for, because it was just the other night actually we picked up the Hamlets, we were uh, having a few drinks, me, Mo and my mate Westwater as well, having a few drinks uh, last Saturday when we were in the supermarket. And we were just paying for a drink and I thought, oh, I'd be nice to a cheeky wee cigar. So if you're just looking behind the counter, which one would you go for? Because it was obviously Hamlets, King Edward's. Uh, King Edwards are, are the old ports, but the things. Quick, cheeky. But you do actually, you will pick up a wee, you will get a little tube cigar. Ah, so okay. that dealer, but you'll get a tube de uh, Romeo and Juliet, number one, two, okay. three, four, Cedros, things like that, yeah, and Bolivar's are there. Yeah, and sometimes you'll okay. get a, uh, you might get a, pick up a Don Ramos, which is a Honduran uh, non Cuban cigar, Honduran cigar. Ah, nice. You might pick up the likes of that in a, in a, a supermarket. Um, and then obviously once you start going up into the Cuban cigars, then you probably go more to the specialist places. I mean, Oddbins is closed now, but I noticed there's still one open. It's still one open, is it? Yeah. But, um, so, no, it's, uh, obviously you can go to Love's in Aberdeen if you really wanted to. But yeah. Or you can just nick them for your own <laughs> man. I've become quite you good go. at that. I've become quite good at that. Before you go, you can always take a couple. Yeah. Do you mind if I just kind uh, of... <laughs> A quick week. look in the old Hummy. <laughs> Normally gives me a couple of good ones, he's good like that. <laughs> he likes to share. Certainly don't mind sharing, that's what it's all about. In the same way as what this is about, it's sharing our experiences in an afternoon, sharing our thoughts and opinions on a wee cigar. Hope you get some enjoyment out of it. Um, it's good fun, that's what it's all about, guys. It's a good way but, to kick uh, back, is it? Yeah, I mean, I, mean I suppose we might as well uh, have a wee score on this one as well, wouldn't yeah. you? Because you're just about to finish yeah, it. Yeah, just about there. I mean, scoring's not something that you've, you've obviously seen me you scoring, and me and Buffalo. Buffalo Bill, or Harpo as he is on UK <laughs> cigar forums. Harpo from the Marx Brothers, if you can remember, he doesn't really say much. Uh, Harpo, he's, he's the dumb one in the Marx Brothers. And Billy's the dumb one on the UK cigar forums because he hasn't posted anything at all. <laughs> uh, he did quite speak a lot in our old forum that we had. It's now closed down. But on this one, he's decided just to big silent giant. He he, he looks in and reads, but he's say uh, hasn't done. It, but. No. Uh, um, so what, what do you think then, Steve? Um, based on the scores that you guys give, I really like it. It's one of my favourites. Um, I'd certainly rate it. 94, 95? Well, why for me, not? For me. Because it's, it's banging it's you It's something that I enjoy, it? yeah. It's something that, mm -hmm. yeah, it's the kind of tastes I'm after. Nothing too, too potent. Good. It's just nice and relaxing and Good easy. round cigar, yeah. Actually, it's starting to go to my head a little bit. I love that feeling when, yeah. when they give you that little... Buzz. Just buzz relaxes. Yeah, yeah, just that's what a cigar's supposed to be, anyway. It's supposed to just chill you out and relax you. It's yeah. not about, oh, intense. It's supposed yeah. to just chill you out and relax. Uh, no, I, I wouldn't be far short of that. I'd probably rate it about 92 as well. I mean, it, again, it's all to do with the mood thing, and it's it's a cracking day. It's uh, fine company, and with your son, and uh, son outside, son inside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, no, it's great just to do that. So I would rate it probably about there as well. Quite happy to rate it 92. I could even give it a 94 if I felt like it, no yeah. problem at all. Uh, great cigar, and... Look forward to seeing you in the next one, whatever we get up to. Yeah, thanks for having me. All the best, Steve. It was good to be Catch here. Catch you later. Nice to speak to you guys. Take it two through the night. <laughs> All the best. See you Cheers. later. Nice to see you.